Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, today, this is my match day vlog for the 2024 Champions League final. Just make a proper bar. Um, and then, I think she's really a puppy. But yeah, I think she's outside. But yeah, tonight, it is the Champions League final. Dortmund against Real Madrid at Wembley, 8pm kickoff. I'm excited for it. Um, it's my third... Champions League final vlog, obviously, I'm vlogging this year's final. Last year, I vlogged the Man City Inter game, and the year before that, I vlogged the Liverpool-Real Madrid game as well. So I thought, let's vlog this game, considering I've done the last two. Um, but yeah, I mean, it should be a really good game. Obviously, Real Madrid, they are obviously the favourites. They've won this competition 14 times. They know what it's like in a Champions League final, and uh, they are just massive favourites. Dortmund, they are the underdogs. People are saying that Madrid will easily win this. But I disagree with that because I generally do think um, Dortmund can give Madrid a good game. I really do think that because Dortmund, the teams they faced this year in the Champions League is mad. They played PSG four times. They played Newcastle twice. They've played um, AC Milan. They've played PSV. And they've played against Atletico Madrid, which is quite mad. And uh, it, it's been a... It's, the teams they've played against, you would have never thought that Dortmund would... Um, you never thought Dortmund would be... I mean, Dortmund lost the first leg of against Atletico Madrid. For me, I thought Madrid... I thought Atletico would just go... You know Simeone, he'll just part the bus, Atletico will go through. Dortmund somehow found a way, and obviously they played PSG, beat them, now they're here tonight. But yeah, I mean, weirdly, Real Madrid have announced their starting lineup. Which is weird because it is currently, at the time of recording this, it is 5.47 p.m. The game is in about three, like two odd hours from now. And Madrid of has their team. It's just coming across now on, on Sky Sports. So their team, they've gone with Thibaut Courtois in goal. Carvajal, Rudiger, Nacho Fernandez, Ferland Mendy, Valverde, Camavinga, Cruz. Bellingham, Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr. And then on the bench, they've got Lunin, Kepa, Militao, Alaba, Modric, Hosselu, Lucas Vazquez, Tushimeni, Ceballos, Garcia, Diaz and Gula. Now, I am a bit confused. Well, I'm not confused. I'm just a bit shocked that Timo Courtois is starting. I think this is, I think this is, this is his first appearance of the season, I think. Because obviously, Courtois got injured. They brought in Kepa. And obviously, Lunin's obviously taken Kepa's spot. And now, all of a sudden, Courtois starting. Which is a bit weird. I mean, Courtois, not Courtois, Lunin even. Like, the man the man literally saved them against Man City in the quarterfinals. But I, I just find it weird why Courtois is goal. Overall, it's a decent team. I mean, Dortmund, they yet to announce their team yet. So... I'll probably see you later. Well, I'll say, I'll say that in a minute, but I'll do a clip when Dortmund's team's out. But overall, it's a decent team for Real Madrid. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a prediction now because Dortmund haven't announced their team. I mean, Dortmund's team will be announced in about an hour and ten minutes from now. But yeah, and I'll see you when Dortmund's team. And by the way, before I say that, you're probably thinking, who do I want to win tonight? And uh, I actually said. In the PSG Dortmund full time reaction, I think for the first leg or second leg, whatever. I, I, to be fair, I actually do have a big soft spot for Dortmund. I don't know why, because ever since that sh the first the first game back, which was Dortmund Schalke in 2020, I just, like, I just have a massive soft spot for Dortmund. I mean, they got a brilliant fan base, a great stadium. This is a great club. And to be honest, let's be real, it is just a bit boring if Real Madrid win it. But yeah. I'm back in the Dortmund boys tonight. So, yeah, hopefully Dortmund will be winning the Champions League tonight. If Madrid win it, fair play. Madrid fans, I don't hate you. I just ra would rather Dortmund. But, yeah, anyway, I'll see you for when Dortmund's team is out. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so Edin Terzic has announced the Borussia Dortmund team. So, let's have a look. So, of course, we've got Gregor Kobbel in goal. Ryerson, Hummels, Schlotterbeck and Matson. In a back four, Emre Chan 
alongside Marcel Sabitzer in the defensive midfield. Attacker midfield, Adiemi, Brandt and Sancho. Nicholas Falkirk up front. Marco Reus does not start, but I am guaranteeing that he will probably come on in his final game ever for Borussia Dortmund. Now, obviously, Hummels and Schlotterbeck, I think that's key. I think having them to a centre-back because both of them against PSG were outstanding. I mean, overall, both of them are very good alongside each other. Matson, I think ever since he's joined Dortmund, he's done well. I mean, him and Ryerson have got a big night ahead of them to stop Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo because I know they're like playing corners from they're playing like more narrow like in the middle, but they're gonna drag out wide, let's be honest, and then Bellingham will just push up into the into the middle. So uh yeah, I mean Chan and Sabitza um are in defensive midfield. Let's be honest, they're probably gonna be probably more likely doing the more more defending and attacking because Dortmund I mean I said this in my Champions League predictions video in my Champions League final prediction video that I think Dortmund will be massively defensive. I think Dortmund will be massively defensively, so I think them two will be a bit more defensive tonight. I mean, to be fair, I mean, Dortmund, if they can, if they could, sometimes when you watch Arsenal, I know it's a bit off topic, but when you watch Arsenal, because I remember watching the Man City game when they drew 0-0, like they were sat behind, Arsenal were parking the bus, and when they got the ball, they were quickly on the counter-attack, and Dortmund, they were capable of doing that with players like Adi Amy, Sancho, and all that. But yeah, Prediction, I'm going to go 1-1. I'm just going to go all the way to penalties. And I think Dortmund are going to win on pens. So, yeah, I'll see you for kickoff. Come on, Dortmund. Let's go. Here we go. Players are coming out now. Look at the, look at the TV from both teams. Wow. Brilliant. I, this is why we love football. We are underway. Let's go. Go. And it's literally been 30 seconds and there's a pitch invader taking a picture of Bellingham. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What wow. N Nicholas Fulkrug is probably just that is now the best chance of the game. Forget the chance earlier from Brand. Mate, he's hit the post. Oh my god. That's what Dortmund could do to on the break, man. It's brilliant. I think he can Real Madrid. Wow. A good defending. What a chance. Fulk good, man. Look at that. Wow. Here we go. Corner. Gross. Good header there from. Here we go. Let's see what Dortmund can do. Matson. Oh my god. Sancho. Sancho, what a ball. They could score. Brandt. And he aimed. Oh. Nah. Parade decision for the ref. Swings the play. Sabitza. I'd shoot if I was in. Oh, good save. Good save. Corner. It's a corner for. Hey, I'll be the be. Hey, I'll be the be. For Dortmund. That's like the song they sing before kickoff most times. They sing, Hey, yeah, be, will be, man, you never will play. Good save there from Courtois. Couldn't, like, really get in the more in the corner. Um, Sabitza. Hello. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Cheers. Forgot my drink. <laughs> oh, Sancho. Shoot. No, I don't shoot, actually. Matson crossed in. No, oh, no, my God. Half time, it is nil nil. It's been a good game to be fair. I mean, I thought Real started strong. Dortmund have definitely got back in. I mean, they've created some really good chances. Full Krug, Adi Amy as well. But yeah, overall, it's been a good game. Good game. Second half is underway. Free kick for the Real Madrid. The ref's talking to someone. Tony Kroos is taking it. Could you imagine he scores now? Kroos. Ref blows his whistle. Oh, what a save. Brilliant from Cobble. 
It's a great strike from Crows. Brilliant save from Gregor Cobble. It's a lovely whip on that ball there. It's a great save from the goalkeeper. And now it's going to be a corner for Los Blancos. Carvajal, oh, nearly. Two chances there for Real Madrid. It's 1-0 Real Madrid. As soon as I start singing a Dortmund chant off camera, Madrid go and score. I didn't really see it, to be fair. 13 minutes left. Danny Carvajal makes it 1-0. To Real Madrid. I didn't really have to have a look at the replay. Let's have a look. Corner. Oh, it's, who is marking him, man? It's poor defending. What is Schlotterbeck? It's too late. He leaves him. He leaves He leaves. Um, Carver and he goes to Rudiger. And then he goes back to Carvajal last second. Oh, it would have been a penalty anyway. Because handball from Hummels. It's a good header. It's poor, poor defending. 2 0. Vinny Jr. <laughs> What's he doing? What's this? It's a silly mistake. Free kick for Dortmund. 40 seconds left. Royce with the free kick. Good ball in. Oh, corner. Corner for Dortmund. Oh, mate, the Dortmund fans are literally on the verge of crying. 11 years on after losing to Bayern at Wembley. They lose again. But it's time to Real Madrid. Here we go. Royce swings it in. Pushed away by Courtois. And here we go. Any second now. Here we go. Five minutes to run. Matson, And it's all over. That should do it. That should do it. Terzic and... Ancelotti is shaking words. Real Madrid are ready to celebrate. And there it is. Real Madrid have won the Champions League.